Hello, everybody. Radiant team back. And welcome to the Learn Dota 2 League, Season 13, Week 5. Today, we got P-A-T-A, -A, the name we can't cool. say on YouTube, the meth team. Taking on Hunter Bounty's missing laptop, the uh, Senior Cruz team. And with us here today, we got Randy. Hello. And the king of controversy, the winner of the inaugural Randy, Randy Memorial 1v1 uh, yeah. mid tournament. And the old new one, probably. And the guy I can't call their Forgan anymore. We got Dragon. What's up, Dragon? Yo. Yo, say it on record here while we're waiting while we're waiting out the uh, bands, right? Is it true you're thinking about also not being in season 14? I mean, to be fair, right now I'm kind of on a break from Dota, just like you know, trying to. I I, I was like in a bad mental state for a while, like in ranked, and just, I didn't. I was not having fun, so I'm I've been taking like three, four weeks so far right now on a break, and remaining. it's been great. I've been playing some guitar. It's been very uh, rejuvenating. So maybe I show remaining. up some point. Maybe I come back. I don't know. Probably if it, if I do come back, it'll just be in a ranked capacity, and that's about it. But uh, league wise, I don't know. Well, here's my argument against that. Are you ready? There are so few mids in the LD2L circuit right now. <clears throat> I mean, there are literally three career mids playing mid in this season. If you come back, everybody's going to be like worshiping the ground you, you you walk on, basically. So that would be that would be a fun season. I mean, if I do come back, it's going to be like I'm going to be kind of washed, and then it's going to be kind of funny because I'll be talking like I'll be like talking so much shit in the past, and then I'll just be like kind of washed as a result. <laughs> Like the next season, it's gonna be like, hmm, you know, this guy is not Five as good as he said. Remaining. It can't be as bad as the time you personally asked us to come to, uh, do your FHDL game and you're fed. First pick, oh, Death true. Prophet. That's first, uh. First pick, post nerf Death Prophet? I don't know yeah. what that was. Notably, you can see Hunter Bounties as their eyes right on the prize in this one. They are looking firmly at the Luke Zeros, just getting them right the hell out. Notably, though, you or, do have the. Or uh, Gotham Pause 1 Death Prophet. I don't know. Be. You also, uh, notably, have the excision of Lena there, which means Laser goes Pew Pew. It's probably not going to be our mid. So, Dragon, since you inevitably haven't been keeping track this season, Hunter Bounty's missing laptop there has a rotating cycle of three different mids that they pull in and out over the games. I mean, I respect that. I mean, if, if you have, like, a small hero pull in mid, it's kind of cursed most of the time. So, if you have, like, multiple heroes across different players, it makes sense to give the player their, their hero on, on the on mid and then just have, essentially, a, a bigger hero pool by aggregate. Right. And notably, you got three people going mid, but I don't think any of them have the biggest pools, so... Team pick. <laughs> Snapfire. In, in that kind of situation, I always kind of advocate, like, if you play, like, support heroes, or you play, like, offlane heroes, just, like, play those mid. Like, I I, I I play a lot of those just kind of weird mids on, like, uh, like, like shaman mid, lion mid. There's, like, a bunch of really random shit you could do, but it's, like, if you don't want to play the hero, it's not much different. You're just playing the same hero with more farm. So, like, Which Doctor Snapfire? That's a nasty support combo. Yeah, it is. They're going to str they're going to have Those a counterable support combo. Yeah, That's very cool. counterable. They they're going to struggle a bit against Death Prophet, but Death Prophet is definitely going to need to like it's going to be a lot on Death Prophet's plate and if she's focusing on the support all the fights and she's not really getting especially she's like going to be the funny Gotham one prophet. Not going to be getting everything she could really get done. I'd also like to point out there we got the Bristleback ban on Pata, right? Looking at the poop Bristleback. But the interesting thing to me is that they did not get rid of the jump man slash too poor for, for school lunch. I thought it was a stand in, but no, it was the same guy just changed names during the season. It, it they did not ban out the snapfire, which is pretty much jump man's signature hero. I mean, like ten to one signature hero, basically. That's uh, true. I'd say now Tennelson is basically gone. Got a Jakiro to follow up. Pretty much one of the more generic support picks. Now that Tennelson is gone, maybe Jumpman's going to be the new like poster boy for like the super focused one hero guy. You just don't want to let that one hero through. I am the Juggernaut. I will not be in this game. kind of funny that uh, this guy is like Snapfire's main because I remember last Radiant season in A12 well, my pause 5 was also just a Snapfire player and they were just like people would be like so scared of like other heroes on our team that they would just never ban it so we were just literally every game just first pays like first pick the uh, Snapfire 
for like, you know, for first pick and first pick and second pick, we just second pick it immediately. And it was just like, it got to the point where I think we we had, we played against Snapfire like one or two times the entire season and we had Snapfire on our team like I think 90% of games or something. No Mars, Mars on this lineup would be ludicrously good and a really strong response to the Prophet's early fight, so no surprise that one's gone. Radiant team back. Nobody is going to be sowing chaos today either. CK, really, uh, sort of a surge of pick recently. You know, CK went from like a guy kind of, uh, kind of like a random meme boss three to suddenly goddamn everywhere Ten in what feels like remain. overnight. Five seconds remaining. Jackie Chin's really the 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 trailblazer on that because he was playing uh, he was playing the CK one back when. Everyone still, uh, still follow him. Yeah, dude. Jackie Chen. By the way, no Ursa. I mean, the real CK pl trailblazer is me because I'm the only person in history, probably, who played CK in their first ever Ten match. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Looks like Dyer has gotten rid of two illusions. Dyer they team. may be angling for something of that. Uh, something that is countered by illusions. Interestingly, they banned the TA. That's kind of one of those heroes that's kind of countered by illusions. Yeah, probably are just going to be looking at. I think they're looking at the illusion heroes more Ten for a uh, perhaps a mana perspective, or you know, maybe it's just going to be like maybe they're going to do something funny and go mid visage here. That would be interesting. Uh, I don't know if, I mean, the, uh, if anybody on the team plays it. I don't know if anyone in this league wants to do it after Slizzy's mid visage last season. Oh, uh, that's true. Radiant Absolute state. Slada. Even more confusing when they pick Slardar like this. But just played the TA themselves. Yeah, I mean, you'd think TA would be very good for them here. I guess yeah. they're Great whoever call. they're sending mid or one just doesn't want to play it. It's like um, it's remaining. not it's not that bad in the Death Prophet. Um, if you want to play it mid, like it's it's annoying into Chikiro, but remaining. like you know you kind of just kill him in like two hits, so he doesn't really fuck with you. And then you know Sardar plus Snapfire is insane minus armor. Right. I mean, I assume they were afraid that like you know it, it, say they would pick it, but you got two picks coming up, or it's just not in their pool. They just don't want to see it. Definitely a likely possibility. It is in Trash Boat's pool, so... It is in Trash nope. Boat's pool, but Trash Boat's... Uh, oh yeah, okay, Trash Boat is on that team. I was gonna say, Trash Boat's not well, on, her, on Hunter least. Bounties, unfortunately. Radiant team picked. There's still a lot of options to counter. A TA still in left in the pool, so I, I wouldn't be that scared of banning it that early. You know? That's like a personal thing for me, is like, I guess, like if you have like Viper or something that you can pull out as like a pocket pick for it, it's, it's not that scary. Mirana! Rana's gonna remaining. definitely be annoying for these two guys to deal with. Neither Witch Doctor nor the Snapfire are ever gonna wanna have to deal with Arrow. Yeah. Definitely a good pick there. I don't know who's gonna be playing it. It's gonna be interesting to see where the support line goes. Cause I I believe it's gonna be Meph. Yeah, probably F on enough. four. PVC on five. PVC actually, you notice, is drafting for this lineup. Yeah, he is. And it's very interesting living in an era where PVC Pipe isn't a captain, because, like, you look at his record and it's like a million captain seasons in a row. And it's crazy how he managed to get that many, considering we're only on season 13. And then he picks a Dragon Knight. Let me tell you he two things I don't like. Are you ready? I don't like DK against Slordar, and I sure as hell don't like DK against his Napfire. He better be really careful with how he plays this game. Well, I think you just don't like Five DK and anybody. But... Yeah, that's true, but I mean, this is a particularly bad match. I, I can I can at least respect it when it's like, okay, I don't, I don't really like DK that much as a pick anyway, but it's like, there are some games where it's going to be okay. We had a game... Um, in the series we did earlier, the 
MKUltra BAR series where DK was like, all right, at least he was all right in the lane phase. You can definitely tell they picked him for the early game. Like, you know, he's just going up against two characters that are either A, going to do fizz damage, or B, going to do no damage. So, you know, you can just soak up everything with your passive and be pretty much okay. Well, that sure sucks. <laughs> Poor it DK. DK. I don't think anybody else cares, though. Yeah, more minus armor synergy. I mean, personally, I would have just cho chosen a mid here, just because like they haven't banned anything, and you can you see the matchup now. You know it's Death Prophet. It's like Five it's not a bad game remain. for just picking something that can just Five dodge lane and, and gank. Uh, I think that's like solid. But do we do we know it's Death Prophet though? It still might be the, the Gotham one Death Prophet. Right. Yeah, if. If, if that's the case, then it's just like it's whatever. You just take your you just take your chances yep. on on reroll the dice on it because it's like not a great pause one. So they're just kind of they're Ten kind of fucking their comp to basically make it so that you don't see a matchup. <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen like ninety percent of the time. Remaining. Notably, uh, Pata is assuming that that's a two razor. Immediately go for the anti mage ban. Radiant team ban. I think uh, AM is kind of required to ban against this comp, otherwise the Death Prophet just kind of gets blown up. Dire team yeah, back. sure. Yeah, both it's bans going out for pause once. Yeah. Definitely uh, assuming this is a Razor too. You know, the sad thing is, is it might be, it might not, and they may not have decided yet. Because they got the last pick, they got that luxury. Ten seconds remaining. I'm guessing it's probably Razor mid. Five seconds remaining. I, if I if I'm Hunter Bounties, it's definitely like it's Razor mid if they have a one that doesn't care at all about them, and Razor one if they have one that does. Makes sense, yeah. Hunter Bounties running out the clock here. Pretty confident, it seems, that they're not going to get their picks knight from them here. The uh, the long delay on the last ban always kind of tells me that you messed up in your two bans and they were not thinking something like that even. Well, maybe they were. They could be potentially thinking something like that, but the long the long lull on the last ban basically tells me that's we're, we're deciding our last pick here. Missing a mid pick for trash boat here. I think they're missing a pause one. I guess they're. I guess they're not okay. DP is their pause one. Uh, yep, they have really uh, cursed. Okay. They have they have run the DP pause one so far. It actually. It, it only worked because the hero was broken, and now the hero's not broken anymore. So yeah. I don't know. No, but hey, it went to our razor bit though. Remaining. It's like really free now. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah for sure. That is indeed. That is indeed a guy that does not like seeing the Razor. You know, he's basically only got just ult bomb right now. So you can almost send Razor wherever the hell you want. And that's exactly Answer what is two. But the they want to send him this. That is an awful pick into Ember. Yeah, I would agree with that, I think. But like you know, uh, I think last season there was a situation where they picked Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit. I think it was you! Uh, yes. Picked Ember Spirit against PL and lost anyway. It's um, it, you have to actually win in the mid game. If you don't win in the mid game, you're gonna lose in the late game because yeah. you just get mana burned. But like the idea is that your 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 comp is supposed to be strong enough where you literally just go and chain kill the PL from minute like ten to minute twenty, and he has like six deaths and then he's just useless for the rest of the game. It's going to be interesting to see how this one goes. Yeah, but they need to hit that timing or else PL is gonna outskill. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Interestingly enough here, we've got a... We've got what is inevitably a a roll shift, like a major roll shift on Hunter Bounties. All their core... Like, four out of five actually are in weird positions. You've got, uh, you got Senor Cruz on five. You've got... I believe that's Ray Bay Bay on three. And you've, you've got Laser on two. Game. What can you do? Yeah, and you've got Poop on one. 
Last time we saw Poop on 1, to say the least, it didn't really impress. Let's see if he can uh, pull things out a little bit more here. Oh, Trashbot's got a, a damn good hero now. Trashbot's got a damn good Ember Raid. Captain Virel's previous match, he got fed his sniper on 1. What a surprise! Look, Dragon, Meth is sponsored by you! Prepare for battle. Got him. <laughs> well, I'll right. tell you who peel definitely outskills. This is a puzzle and death profit. Yeah. If there is an anchor around my neck this game, as Ty Hunter would say, the puzzle and death profit is it. I mean, I think like, PL out. does nothing, it's peel. Like, literally nothing. I think PL, like, scales to or outscales everybody on this team. I think he's kind of the doomsday timer in this match. I think it's also somebody Death Prophet doesn't really necessarily want to see as well. It's an answer. You know, even if it is answer by the two to a big degree, it definitely answers the one very satisfactory. Oh, uh, it's not going to be yeah, answering anything. Right it just kind of dies. Spin around, stun for him. Unless the zero hits, and nope. it won't. It's kind of a problem. I think it's pretty impossible to get, like, a, like a first blood like that unless you have... A more reliable stun than arrow. I really like how yeah. uh, how scattered the clan tags on this lineup are. Trash boat's still on panic at the Roche pit. Cranberry Sprite mm. is in the Harambe clan. PVC Pipe is in Lovers. Gotham is in Pata. He's the only one, and Meth is in Soakup. Three for one. Uh oh, this is getting really bad looking for Meth. Ooh, he's fun. Which doctor? Okay, his cast was uh, used in the process of that. Okay, so he's gonna be fine anyway. Anyway, yeah, literally one person has the Pata clan tag on Pata, and it's not even the captain, which is really the funniest part. But I mean, I guess in fairness, literally nobody yeah, even has a clan tag change, on this uh, team. Can't change player info, so what can you do? Right. And now for everybody's favorite part of the cast, the roll call. So on Pata, pause one, we've got Gotham, sponsored by Cheesecake, on the Death Prophet. Can you believe this man got sponsored by an entire goddamn food? Pause two, I mean, I guess it's fitting, because uh, Godlike Mac got sponsored by Red, Gold, Red Bull, and that's a whole ass drink. Pause two, standing in for Luke's Trash Boat, on the Ember Spirit. Pause three, uh, never mind, we just got first blood, let's check out what happened there. Slow top lane. We got arrowed. What happens? Man took a very long arrow and just went down there. I think that's pretty much long and short of it. And uh, Rana doesn't have a first bloodline there. Pause three. Cranberry Sprite on the Dragon Knight. Pause four. Meth on the Beth. I mean on the Marana. And pause five. Uh, getting killed in the middle of the former uh, side shop is PVC Pipe. Man, I miss. I, I really like how this area still exists, but has absolutely no nothing in it now. That's just, that's just a juke spot now. Yeah, yeah, this is a raw juke spot. Should uh, it should think of something, right? Like, you could definitely put something in there. Like, even if it's like I don't know, a, a baby Roche with a mustache that you can beat up or something. I don't know. Something that would at least. Be an interesting change, to be honest. Mini Roche. On yeah, two yeah. sides of the map, you could get like something out of it or something. No. Yeah, 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 the drops are shorten. It's one candy from uh, from the Halloween event, which is a bad thing to have, so you don't want it. Anyway, that's five PVC pipe, Jakira. Meanwhile, on Hunter Bounties, pause one. You've got Phantom Lancer on the poop, who is uh, currently having a fun little fight here. I'm gonna knock Marana. out Marana, yeah. Pause 2, Laser goes pew pew on the Razor mid. I did not know that uh, Laser played Razor, but I guess it rhymed, so I should have figured. Pause 3, we've got Ash, I believe that's Ray Bay Bay. Let's see, because it's uh, the same outcome every time, although it doesn't have it here. 
I believe that's Ray Bebe playing Slardar. I could be wrong. He changes his name every week. Right? And plus four, we've got Jumpman, formerly known as Too Poor for School Lunch, who is now rich enough for school lunch. Uh, on the Snapfire. And finally, pause five, we've got Captain Virile, aka Manifest Destiny, aka Senor Carlos Frederico Cruz. His name every week. AKA uh Charles on the Witch Doctor. He's also the team captain. These guys' names are such mouthfuls that the roll call was three minutes long. Yeah, well, I guess in fairness, there are two kills in that. Well, four kills in that time. I think two kills happened. Uh, kill sequences, anyway. All right, Dragon. Who's the real mid here at mid? I mean, based on what I'm seeing, like the Razor's playing this correctly. He's just kind of do he should just be posturing more, to be honest. Like that, I would I would have liked to see him just kind of sitting up on the high ground, just kind of clicking the ever living fuck out of the Ember, then just like they're just thinking not want to show up in lane at all. It's just like kind of a, a free lane for him at that point. The, they're just kind of trading. It's fine, I guess. What happened here? Oh, this is just, yep, this is, uh, one creep was around for the casket bounce, and it's all they needed. Meth going down. It's a very... Hey, you got the plus one screw. Yep. Very important. It's definitely, um... Definitely a very big thing that a Witch Doctor can do to you in these side lanes. Which, you have to be very, very, very... Very careful about your positioning. I mean, to like an unrealistic level, you have to have like four eyes at once, kind of positioning a lot of times. Yes. This Marana Dragonite combo is very mean. Yep. It's like the Rod of Atos punch. I like uh, Cranberry using Dragon Breath on the Illusion Zone. Big fight going on here, but. Yeah, the Slaughter's been doing this for the entire lane. He just kind of runs at Jakiro whenever he wants. Gets a kill there. Bash uh, does the exact correct amount of damage, more or less. Gets him the kill. Like, your, your pause one's a DP, so what, what is she going to do about it? She actually has a lot to do, just nothing when she's out of mana. That's why you get yourself some clarity, skits. Mids, of course, uh, pretty evenly matched up right now. Very, very, uh, very amazing that Laser goes pew pew, a uh, 1k non mid main, just uh, matching up with Trash Bow like this, don't you think? I mean, it's, it's supposed to be a big Razor win in that lane, so the fact that he's like even is not great, actually. But... Yeah. Ideally, Ember should have like less than 10 CS at this point. But it's like a risk-free lane, kind of, like, nobody's taking any risks, they're just kind of sitting, hitting creeps. That's right, a big chilling. ED, though. There. Bottle and Razor, interesting. I've never seen that before. Also got Bottle on the, uh, on the Ember Spirit, which is, uh, perhaps less surprising. Yes. <laughs> Trash book going to take a uh, going to take a tower shot there, which traditionally has never worked out well for him. He should just dive it. Oh man, okay, that's that's like that's that's a pussy move right there. Ooh. That's a really pussy yeah. move. You have to dive him there because he can just go base and come back. You have to. Just, yeah, you can which just he is. Wait, like, that's because he's doing the right thing. Like if you're razor there, you have to punish that. You have to make it so that the supports come to you. Uh, Cannot like basically just be passing that lane, otherwise the embers is gonna farm you eventually. Gold is a great conductor. Gold's a great conductor. Well, Razor's taking his this approach to uh, out farming. He's trying to do something in the jungle, but it's no, not actually. No, he's just uh, grabbing bunnies for Paul refill. Definitely. Pretty sure he hit Q in the middle of that because the way the creeps were coming out at him definitely resembled the way they would if he did that. Pig pole, tier one neutral item found by trash boat. Bullseye. 
Once again, this, this Dragon Knight Marauder combo in lane is very mean. Yeah. It's not my responsibility to protect people from themselves. That looks like a Marauder. Will be going down, I think. Next tick, maybe. No. 15 ah, damage. 15. Oh, the saved close. by the saved by the drops. Did I'm pretty sure DK just Dragon killed an illusion. Yes. Now what? He would never do that. Perhaps no surprise. This is like a ridiculously good lane for uh, for the Dragon Knight here. Like pretty much the best he could possibly have. The Witch Doctor is almost feeding at this point. I mean, not like he can help it really. But, um, yeah, he gets near the lane and gets some stupid 12-second stun combo dropped on his head. And uh, the PL just cannot damage him in this lane. He's got no ability to do anything. All of their damage is going to come from the PL, the Spirit Lance with the Maledict, and when PL's keeping the Spirit Lance level 1, nothing's coming out of that. I would say PL's farm has not been hindered as much as it should be. Right. Considering that situation. On one hand, that's true. Uh, then... I think that's in part to the, the the DD going to the Razor. If that DD went on the Ember, he would have ganked, probably. Though I will say this much, uh... Kills on uh, Dragon Knight do make this a bit more equal than it looks. I think in a situation like this, an equal is like pretty good for DK. You scale good enough that like a draw okay. in the offlane is fine for you. First, uh, first snap viral to the game goes absolutely nowhere. Both die in the wake of a trash boat gank, though. At top, uh, Meph going to try and for some reason, I don't know what was inspiring it. Dive in the tower here, probably for uh, for Witch Doctor. It's immediately killed by PL. I'll tell you this much: this lane is not going to be a draw if uh, Mev keeps dying for these Witch Doctor kills like this. Being able to stack out the kills is great, and getting a draw is great. But giving PL a bunch of kills while taking no deaths and retaining the uh, net worth advantage okay, is going to they, give him the distinct victory, the especially if Slardar shows up. And now you can basically say that Dire wins is safely no matter how many times Senior Cruz dies. And this yeah. is exactly why I hate um, rotations from mid to like the safe lane. It's just never worth it 90% of the time because like you, you just allow your uh, the off laner to get a free TP wherever he wants to go and they used to use that to get a free kill there and secure the pause once lane. So if he'd ganked the PL it would have been much more useful. Right, I'm not really scared of what Slardar is going to be doing in this game. Slardar is going to be that. He's going to be... Did you see that? That's Slardar this game, alright? This, this right here, it says Corrosive Haze, what they mean is Slardar. Exactly. Dragonite actually just yeah, lost nice basically all of his damage for that. Oh, Trash Boat's dead. So that's, that's actually a yep. beautiful play by the Razor there. Immediate uh, death. Pretty much the up. With the uh, the the Slardar ult, the most important target here is oh well missed the shotgun there. Where is the where is the coconut? That was weird. I don't know uh, I don't know why the witch doctor didn't coconut that. I mean I guess that's just what's gonna happen when you got a guy who really does not play support very regularly on your five this game. Bloody brawl at the mid lane. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. I think if Witch Doctor throws a coconut there, I think DK also just kind of dies. Okay. Yeah, this is problematic right. now. Cannot die again on this razor. Okay. Won't die again on this razor. I think Trash Bro is having some mana problems in this game. Yeah, you it's can pretty say visible. That. If only had a crystal main. Ember and mana problems are always synonymous with each other, to be honest. Yeah. I was really hoping, even though it would have been really stupid for him to do it, I was really hoping that Razor's just gonna deny the DD for no reason. Just pop it right in front of Dragonite's face just to make him cry. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Speaking of offliners, uh. Slardar, sieging down the uh, T1 bot here, all by his lonesome, and the other pause 3 shows up. It's a battle of the threes. I don't like Dragonite's chances in this one, especially without Ultra Dragon form. 
And especially if Witch Doctor shows up, but oh, not so especially if he misses the Maledict. Where be the coconut, man? <laughs> Is he yeah, holding not... spells for Dota 3, as I like to say? Yeah, That's yeah. True. Not like that was going anywhere anyway. That's true, but you know, we didn't know it wasn't going anywhere. The, the Jakiro Ice Path was not a known factor. Okay, this could go somewhere if they just stick around like this. Okay. That is not That's how you not kill a Dragon damage. Knight. He's so ringed! Dragon Knight so ringed with the Maledict on him, and now he's gonna die! Unfortunate. Alright, I'd just like to point out, I'd just like to state for the record, for the audience at home, um, this is not what you do with a Soul Ring. <laughs> there are times when you can use a Soul Ring, and it's, it's really good. There are times when a Soul Ring pop can save your life. There are also a there are also times where a soul ring pop can directly cost you a life that you would not have lost otherwise. That I was one of them. Uses the next one. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think mid T1. He... Yeah, that's that's a little strange. It was already low HP. Maybe no, he's he... T1. Yeah, but some... he's on something. I'm not sure what. Probably not top T1. But... I mean, is this this is probably like the amount of damage a solo exo do to a tower now, right? I haven't really I don't know. It, the, the the amount of damage it does now is not really firmly planted in my my mind quite yet. Maybe I got to test that at some point. Got a little bit of it going to the field. They uh, they dedicated quite a lot of resources. They actually just dropped the Ember TP, so it's not going to be able to get out for a while. Yeah, and TV the important spells missed, so. so slow. Dragon Knight is uh, about to lose all of his mana. Amazingly, uh, PL would rather take out the Mirana. Forces out the Mirana ult, so that's down for a while. Yep. Really doesn't yeah. save anybody but Mirana herself, so that's uh, a good way to force the youth out of that. Let's take a look can at the we, net worth uh, charts here. Yeah, I was going to say, can we see net worth? Yeah, well, currently on top of that. That ain't great. This is very concerning. Yeah, that ain't great. Um, we were talking earlier. Like, what do you, what do you have that's gonna outscale him? Like, if this game goes 40 minutes, what what do you have to go into PL? Right, nothing, pretty much. The one yeah. saving grace is that Trash Boat is behind PL, but he's not behind enough that he can't still. You know, like I said before, he can make a lot of damage out of the PL, right? If you're Ember Spirit, you get your W off in, in, a, in a good way. You can get a lot of damage out of PL, but you have to stay competitive, and it's going to be a lot harder to stay competitive when he's doing this to you. Cranberry Sprite, I think, has already basically been knocked out of this game. If this happens to you against uh, the the two heroes that you should nominally do the best against on this lineup, well, uh oh, that ain't no good. If you if you're doing that and you're you don't have your blink yet, that ain't no good. Drop Exo on this PL. Trash Boat's gonna die first! Yep. DL has gone down, so that's good. But the, the it went to PVC though. Yeah, like... And uh, they <laughs> they lose guys here, this ain't gonna be no good. Oh, that was probably the most painful possible way you could've gotten a PL kill. Like... And also, the Ember died before the PL died, which means he got zero yeah. experience out of that, which means he's just mega fucked right now. I also got another like, gold. You, you killed the PL, but you, it, that was legitimately the most miserable possible way. Notably, Ember Spirit, who is the pause to this game, is lower level than the PL at 16 minutes. That ain't good. Yeah. yeah. Though, uh, at the very least, Gotham just picked himself up a random casual kill here at mid. Razor just uh, did what we in the business called stick around and find out. Dragon, you a big sports guy? A little bit. What do you think of the Kansas City Chiefs? They're they're decent, I guess. I mean, Mahomes is uh, solid, but uh, I don't know much else about them. I'm a uh, dedicated Rams fan. Smile. What do you think of the the uh, Chiefs' chances in this particular game? In this game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. As uh, represented here by uh, Phantom Lancer. Man, he's got past the 
powers, like, like I said before, like they didn't gank him. They they kind of just left him alone, and now now he's in the uh, he's in the, he's past the mid game phase. It's uh, if you look at the clock, I said 10 to 20. Now it's 17. He's chilling. He's top net worth. This is uh, it's it's not looking good for for, for Radiant now. Yeah. How do you think a football team would do with Phantom Lancer on it? It'd be very broken considering he can. It's literally 11 v 11. <laughs> means you can yeah. now just get like 30 v 11. Yeah, Phantom just... Lancer gets the ball and then suddenly there are like six Phantom Lancers on the field. You got, you got free blockers for you all the time. At least they're not the Houston Texans. Damn. That is true. You know, as somebody who lives in Texas, I can't tell you that even in Texas nobody li likes the, the Houston Texans. Gotta say the Houston Texans. Go here on Gotham. This ain't looking good for the Death uh, Prophet. Goodbye, yeah, deleted, and Jakiro, who tries to save, gets uh, no better fate. They just threw five heroes at this. The, this looks like a the lost hole. tower for sure. The pause one for Pata does not have considerably more gold than the support line. Well, it's a DP, what do you expect? Yeah. The hero doesn't burn more. Oh my god, trash boat. Oh, Pirate that's Ray a just died. nasty oh. cookie right there. Yeah, that's a beautiful cookie. That's a Snapfire main cookie. I really got to question the decision to, like... Like, I feel like if there's one thing I can tell people... And, and I did it too, I had it I had it done when the co-op circles face these guys, right? A uh, Razor just tanked an arrow. Yeah. He's alive somehow? Okay. Yeah, he's fine. It was one piece of advice I could give to uh, Hunter Bounty. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give you three pieces of advice because I'm a I'm a generous guy. I'm a gregarious guy, all right? And uh, PMA, who who we're going to be live casting, um, they are they are t they're taking on well they're taking on Pata, but uh, <laughs> so they're not going to be facing these guys. But I guess they they hypothetically could one day if they make bracket. But uh, whoever is facing Hunter Bounties this week, give you three pieces of advice. It goes like this. Ban the Snapfire. Alright, number one. Number two, ban the Snapfire. And number three, ban the Snapfire. Yeah, you you probably want to get rid of that Lena too. It's just nothing but headaches for you. But Give you a hint, ban the Snapfire. You want to do yourself good? Ban the Snapfire. I kind of poked that ember there, but he's able to get away. Had a remnant set up. He's getting a lot of farm. The Radiant is, if nothing else, they have acknowledged the, uh, as they say, the real politic of this game. There, there is a, there is a pause one on this team. It's not, it's not Death Prophet. It's this guy. This guy is all the hope on this lineup. The Simber Spirit is. So what all BKB. the farm is starting to go to him. It's like BKB, which in my opinion, this is not the greatest BKB game. Getting adjust for the snap wall, right? Like, I think it's like it's a better Lincoln's game. You you have like um, two or three things that can disrupt you in terms of like stuff. But... Okay, they got like... fuel. That's good. I mean, the problem is, is that right now, basically, it just kind of goes like this. If the snap fire ult comes out for it's like a, a messed up situation, remember? Because it's like if the Snapfire ult comes out and it's even anywhere kind of near where where trash boat is, you just can't fight there. It's just a big do no go zone when the Snap ult comes out. So you need the BKB. But on the other hand, the BKB doesn't start up the La Razor Lincoln's grab. So yeah. it's either do you, do you want to live in the world where you're taking artillery shots to the face, or do you want to live in the world where you're taking where you're dealing no damage? That is a really tough spot for him to be in, and it really doesn't help that he right now he doesn't really have any uh, any friends on his lineup who are going to be able to sort of tank that for him. Everybody, the, the, the dragon's going on jump man down here. Dyer's top tower uh, you know, there's an interesting top. tech actually for Ember versus Razor, which is uh, you buy Lotus. Very, very useful for Ember. Here comes the artillery strike now. Oh, just riding DK melts and very quickly. Every it time, a lot more quickly than you would hope your DK would melt. Every time the artillery strike comes, somebody. This is not a good idea. Okay, good. He does. Does he goes to hope for illusions? Yeah. Get around and set up now. Every time the artillery strike comes out, somebody dies. 
You know, they say uh, artillery brings dignity to what would otherwise be a vulgar brawl, and right now, I'm sure that everybody on Pata was wishing that this is not a family show. Like, right now, you know, they, they want that vulgarity. They gotta find yeah, snap, something to do. Snap is super valuable in this game. Like, the cookies have killed several people. The old has killed more than that. Right. Big, big, big game for Snap. I think at this point, at this juncture, as unfortunate as it is, you just can't use... You can't use the arrow for initiate anymore, which super sucks, and it's going to make it so hard to fight, but I just don't think you can arrow to initiate anymore. I think you have to save arrow for the snap fire. You have to figure out where that artillery is coming from and silence it immediately. Silence the guns Yeah, or you, or you need like an Atos on the team. Right. You need an Atos on the team and the ability to cut through the mustard to get there, which I, I don't know. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if it's possible to just tank through all that. Like... You you go through. Congratulations! You silenced the uh, the snap fire, and you stopped the loss of your team fight at the cost of your life and everybody who like tried to fight with you here. And you need five. It sucks. I think the only arrow answer right now is arrow. And like I said, it super sucks to lose that. But I mean, right now basically, Bron has got this to stun, and that's it. I feel like they should have actually gone Roche there when they backed instead of kind of just chilling in their jungle for like a solid two minutes. If they're playing as five, they should take advantage of it. They should just be going Roche right now. Right. This is very I mean, I can, definitely, I can definitely tell you why they don't want to Roche. It's because they saw the footage of uh, Trash Boat stealing the Aegis last season. Yeah, they did. That's true. I feel like they, something they didn't even have a chance to respond. Like, they just, uh, like the Roche goes down literally like one second with this combo. Yeah, it does. It's Lardar, Snapfire, it's insane. Sure. We're gonna smoke. I think if they get They're one kill here, they gonna wrap get around. That's a big catch if they get it, but they didn't catch you it. Haste. Yes, yes, yes. Never mind. Yeah. Cancel that haste. Okay. This is getting very hairy. Uh, Going for uh, Gotham instead. Artillery's coming Nothing in. Neil's dying. But again, the kill goes to to uh, BBC yeah, pipe. He keeps dying to do a uh, macro fire. Losing PL is big. Matters. They lost PL, but they won the team fight. That is very yeah, it's very dramatically. Oh no. They better just go hit tier 2 and then force buybacks. Go Roche. I think that's the plan. What? Yeah, again, like every time they've killed PL in this game, it's been some ungodly, like, like cost. Yeah. I mean, no, it's not really feasible right now. It costs a whole lot to kill PL. It pretty much is just going to come down to, like, you almost don't want PL to die early in these fights. Like, the only way you get PL is if you stop him somehow from dealing damage, use Ember Spirit to kill the rest of his team using the illusions. Y'all are too good. Dude, nobody's talking shit to you, bro. This is actually the most PMA all chat I've seen in my life. No, all chat, please! Not at all, sir. Unless needed. I'm just complimenting your play. Poop, you need, uh, sorry, I'm drunk. Poop, you need some therapy or something? Like. <laughs> What's his deal, yo? This guy, okay? I don't know. Love they the Maladic on Roche. Thinking about contesting. Secrets are you hiding, Rashawn? It's a lot more than thinking at this point, actually. Yeah, that's actually good. Wait, far contested in there. Yeah. Good defensive BKB force that. Uh, trash boat. Oh, trash boat is an elite. It's horrible. Yeah, he's making a bucks. Yeah, he said. That ain't good. Everybody. Yeah, that's that, not good. Everybody split up. Everybody went like differing directions there. That is not great. Another Meth running around a country. Big mega free roof. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is kind of mega free game at this point. I yep. think that was uh, that just think. went horribly. Yeah, I mean, like the the timing where he said they were supposed to be killing Gil, they they did kill him a few times, but they've died to him more. No all chap. So I don't know. What can you do?
Well, it's not like they really needed PL to be immortal, but here it is. Be funny if Ember just came back, like if that lasted a little bit longer, Ember just came back, went to that, just died instantly. TPing up here, wants to uh, go take out the Dragon Knight, push him top. Dragon Knight who hates ult yet. And is looking at a Lotus Orb? No, Ombre, this ain't how you, this ain't how you play this video game. Yeah, you definitely need to BKB. Get him. Easy jump. No way he does this, dude. Okay, you're just gonna no, blink TP. Yeah. Did he have a Gleipner? What the hell is that? Who? The DK. I, like, I, there was some, there was some from... animation that came off of him. As is from That's the fully the shard, the fireball, yeah. Must be seeing things. It's strange. Mindbreaker. What's your opinion on Mindbreaker, Dragon? I mean, I think it's a solid item. Like, I think it's it's great on those heroes that have like uh, auto attacks that come off of like abilities. Like, uh, I think like Ember, for instance, Mindbreaker is amazing because you can apply it like, at like range. Now, here's a real question: How many times does it appear in your search history? Probably zero because I don't. Uh, I prefer to use other neutral items. So. Okay. Just making sure. I mean, you don't, you haven't done your research on it. You can definitely tell. Radiance and feels the uh, times hit by centaur stump. Is that one currently? Yeah. So. If 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 you uh if you're gonna do the LD2L cast drinking game at home, take a shot every time centaur gets stomped. Or not centaur gets stomped. Every time PL gets stomped by a centaur. Every time anyone gets stomped by a centaur, honestly. Yeah. Anytime anyone gets stomped by a centaur, anybody, anytime anybody gets stunned by the the uh, the ogre club, or anytime anybody gets uh, gets killed because they were either broken or disarmed by a small camp. Now we're passive Aegis right now, I'm not sure. Yeah. Feels I mean, faster. First Aegis, I guess you use it like this to kind of just take space off the map. But they did gotta take They already out. had all the space, is the only thing with that. Like, take all the space off the map that the enemy team already doesn't have, you know? Well, Marana yeah. sure showed that tower. Yeah, they push the so least that's an objective. Yep. Now they're looking at T3, yeah. they're willing to take this. They should get value off of it like this, yeah. Ah, uh, that's so just, sad. Just, no, 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 don't do this, don't do this, please. Oh, just that virus. Please just hit the tower, no. It's a virus moment. Yeah, this is this absolutely the doubt moment. Where, uh, where are all the virus doubters at? <laughs> yeah, where they at? I don't know if I've ever told you this, but I just want you to know Literally, you said that in chat because we're on the two minute delay when you do the live games. You said that in chat the moment it happened. Yeah, the moment it happened, live. you said that. That's actually, that's actually super ironic. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh shit, he's doing well. And then just, you know, question mark two minutes later. I, I, I looked at chat and that was the most recent thing, and I was like, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Bash or Peel, alright. Okay. Peel uh, wants to 1v5. Hey. Yeah, it's, uh, maybe a little bit too drunk for this yeah, game, unfortunately. Might be throwing right now, a little bit, but it's fine. I don't know if I can necessarily agree with this course of action. I mean, I wanted the... I wanted the, the PL Aegis to mean more than... <laughs> nothing? But, uh... It actually meant less than nothing. It's yeah. Just... It just convinced him that he could. <laughs> well played. What do you mean, well played, bro? It was a that would have been, that would've been <laughs> so much funnier if he just said, fuck. Right after. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend he never said uh, white piece, so. I think the basher and, and his, you know, all chatting, I think that's, uh, that about sums up his uh, mental state right now. Yeah. <laughs> No all chat, please.
think what he needs right now, unironically, is he needs to get like a Bloodthorn. So uh, that's gonna help him so much. Yeah. Needs to get a book, is what he needs. I don't know if that's him stealing it from the supports, or the supports are just like, please take this tome and don't die again. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say. But given that he would be the highest level, he would be tied for the highest level in the server when he reads it, I think I can guess which one it is. He didn't read it. He's carrying it. He's a library. One man walking library. Okay, he read it. I just wanted to get a CPO first. Yeah, you can't. You can't have an overly literate TP. You got a TP, then you read. You can't. You can't TP first. I don't know what I was going for. It's like. Uh, by the the Atos, I guess. Yeah, Rado Atos. I like this push, Ron. It's just like I don't care. I'm still going, bro. Yeah, the two people cutting waves. Yeah, just eliminating all life in the bot lane. Nice. Okay. Any detection no, gamers? Nope. Scanning. Absolutely no not. Detection here. Yeah, no, no detection no here. We got, I mean, we got the uh, the sword art shard. That's oh my gosh, but... what is that? He just he... blinked to try. <laughs> yeah, he blinked in the trees. Nice. This could all that be worry. avoided with a single item that costs uh, 200 gold. Smile. He can cut himself out. It's alright. Yeah, he can cut himself. All right. And the best part is Marana's is still probably gonna die. Nope, she has enough fleet charges. Sometimes I feel like Marana just has infinite leap charges, I swear to god. PL eats an entire arrow. And then decides to have eat a tower. That's a big stun from oh, no, That's a super big never mind. That was a super big, uh, stun from Slardar, we had the, the BKB there, that was the 8 second. That's two BKBs he used, I think he just back and reset for yeah. this fight. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna make him, uh, go all in on a PL illusion to see if you can convince him that you're being an idiot again. That's Cranberry BKBs hits the BKB, used. it literally doesn't matter. He is still stands all of his damage. Let's see if he's doing anything right Tanked now. Another That's... arrow. The BKBs are so out of time. He's there, getting destroyed like... by these runes here. That's a nice more stuff. It's like one core of BKBs, then another BKB is like a couple seconds later, and then the third BKB comes out like 25 seconds after. I don't know. Very it's, interesting it's there. Razor, Razor refresh and literally didn't use anything to follow it up, even though he had a full mana pool. Didn't BKB, didn't ult, didn't chain somebody else, he just hit Important. Refresher for fun. I think like that fight, you have to let the PL hit the tower, and then you have to just like literally just do ungodly things to enemy team with this Refresher bullshit. Just do ungodly things. <laughs> Imagine you just see a Razor running out with your double static link to BKB for like literally 14 seconds or something. This is yeah. not fun to deal with. I mean, poor Dragon Knight was already doing like 40 damage a shot in that fight anyway, so... Abysmal Blade coming out somewhat soon on the PL. Daedalus coming out now on the Amber Spear, which could be interesting. Nothing else they're holding off here, which is good. I do feel like there is a degree to which they are holding off due to Hunter Bounty's mistakes. I think this is the biggest issue this team has, actually. I think Hunter Bounties is a very poor uphill team. They never seem to really have a very solidified plan as to how to siege this, and they end up in this situation a lot where they're at a very big advantage game-wise, but they just can't capitalize on it for one reason or another. Uh, PL, or not yep. PL, Slardar definitely did not realize his uh, back was on board. They like they lose people at inconvenient times. Like the razor death in the last fight was super inconveniently timed and just right. kind of stalled all their momentum.
I feel like as long as Razor is above Ember on the net worth chart, there's just no chance here, basically, for them. Like, if Ember can at least get to the point where he's he's got just PL to really worry about, then Aces. You know, it's still not a likely win, but there's something you could do there. But as long as uh, Razor's ahead of him as well, as long as there's really there's two guys that he has to be thinking about, I just don't know what happens here. All I can give us is a chance. The, uh, the sad part is they went high ground two times and they've not taken a single two or three yet. Yeah, yeah they, they have not. They've Truly done uh, about half HP to top and bot, but that's all they've got. I think that just comes from just PL not hitting the tower. He's just... Someone on this team needs to like literally rain him in and tell him if you don't hit the tower, in the next uh, high ground push we will literally uh, let you feed. Gotham, why is your statue called Let's Ride Bikes? This man's not, it's not, man's not riding a bicycle. I mean, at least this makes some sort of sense, even Radiant if it doesn't really look standing. like Timber saw slapping his nuts. Shikiro seems to agree, he's quickly attack. turned his back on such a statue. Like, I know riding bikes is like your personality, but come on, man. Shoutouts to Gotham, friend of the show. Yeah. Let's see if they scout out that Roche is up now. Oh, well, they will. Uh, <laughs> or, or, okay, or Mef will just miss the arrow, okay. Yeah, Mef misses a roast sized target, but I think that illuminated him anyway. Ember Spirit, incidentally, was, well, was looking for Gleipnir for a second, but then decided to switch to Eye of Scotty instead. He's Scotty. Looking to... That's People buy Scotty and Ember, yes they do, yeah. It's not bad, but it's, I think it's like he's going for this like pause one build because he doesn't uh, trust Gotham to actually carry the game. I mean, I mean let's call fair. a spade a spade. Gotham's not like... going to carry the game. He's yeah. gone. Yeah, I think it's he's given, out. Yeah. Gotham is a T3 this game. Yeah, with those like, items, he's just kind of a glorified support hero that runs in and just BKBs and just, you know, hopes to God that he doesn't get blown up in three seconds. Like, the, re the real situation at this point is Embers is a real pause one, Dragonite's a real pause one, and DP is a real pause three. That's just how this is going. The Marauder ult and with smoke, actually, so double double protection there. Going out to scout out the Roche pit, but they the Roche goes down so fast there's no ability to respond. Oh my god, yep. this is Oh weird. what a sun. I mean there's no follow-up, but what a sun. If the follow-up is coming, God uh, maybe go down here. Maybe give me something. Artillery comes out, but this time it's just way too far from the target. Right up backs off and hunter bounties follows. For now. That was an unfortunate use of the artillery after, uh, I guess he can't win them all after many, many, many good uses of the Snapfire ult this game. That was a very, very poor cool one. Lotus Orb this out on the, uh, on the PL here. early Lotus Orb. You shouldn't be doing that. It gives away the real one. The ult's gonna beat this tower up to death here. Finally, he's doing the right thing. Okay, and he just abyssalbladed the ES. He has his force <laughs> leave. Not that he had mana somehow. Gotham yeah, should be also gone. kicked by on this guy. Yep, there we go. Buybacks coming buyback. out. Okay. That's when you retreat for sure. Don't, I would not fight into this. Yeah, I mean, Pure has Aegis, so it could be nice okay. Ah, uh, somebody just gained those themselves. Dragonite just stunned himself. He has they gotta retreat off of this. If they man up again, it's gonna be a mega curse, I think. Yeah, they're gonna you die. Can I get this melee creep, Max, and then you just kind of leave? Okay, this is really greedy. It's greedy, but they're not gonna punish. They're not gonna yeah. punish. Yeah, so they, 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 they ran out of tricks trying to get the BL the first time, so there wasn't really anything left up there. At least not anything the Lotus Orb can get rid of. The laser almost stopped and got hit by the arrow for no reason. That would have been funny. Well, that's certainly bad. I mean, I don't think any game for Ember Spirit is changed decisively by the first Rex going down. I mean, let's call a spade a spade. Let's see what Gabe says. Yeah. It ain't it's looking good. Right but it was already looking about this bad before the Rex went down. It doesn't change that much. They think there's still a game playing here, then 
you know, let them have it, I guess. Take a look at the uh, buyback status here. They did waste... Well, they didn't waste, because they did push him out of the base, but... They expended three buybacks to do that. They got two left. They got Marana and Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit means a lot. Marana almost means nothing. Stay silent and move quickly. And this this stage of the game is what uh, my coach uh, likes to call sudden death Dota, which is uh, everyone uses their buybacks. You take another fight. If anyone that's used a buyback dies, the game is over instantly. Right. Yeah. It's a one way situation for that as well because like. If Pata has a nasty fight, if Pata loses any of their VIPs, basically, in the uh, coming sequence, then they are done. But the reverse is not true for Hunter Bounties. They got plenty of team fights in them. Yeah, I mean, they can just slow siege the C3 and not a whole lot they can do. They can glyph. They can glyph while the tower's still backdoored. And lose Ember Spirit uh, instantly. Okay. And he doesn't have. You don't have no buyback. He finished his Scotty instead. You hey, bought his Scotty. And now he gets to watch his team lose with his Scotty in his backpack. There's two of the buyback heroes dying. This is. Hey, uh. Yep. Looks GG. Three heroes now without buyback. Four. There it is. The good news is. Well, Marana just finished uh, Maelstrom, so doesn't have the, the buyback either. Gotham calls the G's, and we're going home. Uh, who had the Lotus Orb on? Dire. I'm going to use all 300 IQ and guess it was probably Sardar. And if it wasn't, it was probably Snap. Let's find so out. Whoever did it would, like, actually, that last fight, they put the uh, root on the PL, on the actual PL. He got it off like literally instantly and allowed him to just doppel and kill the PL, uh, kill the Ember instantly. So it's like it was really, snap. really high awareness play. Yeah. yeah. This this snap is 100% in my mind MVP. This guy is like actually cracked. Um, like the, uh, the, in terms of just like all around early game impact, mid game impact, late game with the defensive items. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw him force out the, the PL at one point when he was just kind of being a peg and diving base. Like actually saved him at like one HP. So. It is like 100% Snapfire, easy fucking game for him. Yeah. yeah. The uh, the razor the razor pick here was just really baller. They had nothing to stop it ever. They never drafted a sufficient counter to it. They never played sufficiently around it. Cranberry Sprite lost basically his. He was basically a, like a balloon, like a, a a damage balloon, but for razor. He was an item for Razor. He was a rapier for Razor, because every team fight he just lose all of his damage. And when you build DK like this, when you build DK around the Blink Stun Shard, that's really bad. Because when you lose all your damage with Blink Stun Shard, you don't even have the ability to be a little baby core after you get all that done. You are literally a support. You are like like that's your ult, basically. That becomes your new ult, and you don't have anything else. Um the Razor pick was good here, it was executed pretty well, I would say. Um, Sardar pick here, again, just, like, uh, did really well for themselves. I think DK built this wrong, I know everybody likes a Blink st Stun, all that. I, I, I'll, I'll give you one piece of advice, alright? You're pause 3, you're facing Phantom Lancer, I literally don't care who you are, rush that goddamn Crimson Guard, it will, like... Every time, I, I think it has a 100% win rate against PL in this league. Every time you have the P, the pause three, get it out as early as humanly possible. Every time it happens, PL just suffers. He can't do any early game fighting. And PL is a pause one who loves to do himself some early game fighting. You're going to really, you're going to cut a lot of the unique legs out of the hero, right? Because that's, yeah. really, that's really the thing about PL, is that he's like a... A pretty late game guy who can do those early fights pretty much fine. I mean, it's not like the most ideal to bring him out early. You would definitely rather have him farming, but if he yep. has to fight, he can. And if he can get easy kills, he will. Unless you have Crimson Guard, which case he certainly can. And he especially certainly can against the Dragon Knight. You know, you pull out the Crimson Guard. PA in that way, yeah. If you pull out the Crimson on the Dragon Knight and PL goes in on him, it's just like... You know, it's just like showering him with Tic Tacs. That's basically the amount of damage that you're going to be doing, right? He's going to be laughing that off. Everybody on his team is going to be laughing that off, including, and perhaps most importantly, the Ember Spirit is going to be laughing that off, right? 
I also think that the lack of four staffs on the uh, on the support line here did not do them any favors. Like one of the best things that they could possibly have had in their arsenal on this particular lineup would be the ability for the supports to just force somebody immediately out of the Razor Link, right? That's a very big thing to do, especially when you don't have a Lotus Orb up, when you don't have a Lincoln's up, right? If you get the four staffs up, you can break that chain pretty quick, pretty easily, especially if you have any way to stun the Razor, which you do. Right, uh, and I, it's like the Yules are just so greedy this game because like you can't ever use them defensively because if you use them defensively you're just setting yourself up to die. So right. pretty much only using those offensively and and items in general that can only be used one way in Dota are like kind of bad. Usually you want to buy an item for multiple purposes, especially like first items. You want to buy them for like have multiple uses. And so, like, buying those Yules, especially on both supports, is, like, really, really, like, cursed. I think. I mean, they're really just going, need... they're going with the Tortellini guide, right? Like, this, yeah, this looks that's... very Tortellini to me. Which is, like, very unfortunate. I think, like, it's just so greedy, like, uh, especially in Mef's, like, like, items in this game. This is, it's, like, it's not his job, like, to, to be, like, the illusion remover. Like, uh, the... Right. People yeah, you, you don't want to do that. You don't want to have yeah. an illusion remover. You're, you're, you're gutting Ember Spirit if you do. Yeah, Ember is gonna already have that job like fulfilled. Not not I only think, is it gonna uh, be fulfilled, it is better for your team if he does it than you because he gets to like, you know, shoot out thunderbolts when he does that. Yeah, exactly. And it's also just like more efficient also because the the procs come out on each individual hit from Slide of Fist, so it's like it's a really easy way to just clear all the illusions instantly. And it's just like um most of them like this is something I always see like in, in kind of these like I guess lower ranked games is that you People don't understand, I guess, what their purpose or role in the game is. Like whether it be, you know, make the buy the defensive items so that the cores don't die, or you know, be the illusion remover, or you know, be the initiator. You know, and then, like you see multiple people building for the same purpose, and then that's like super inefficient. Right. So, I think yeah. this is like it's mostly a communication thing. Like, I've noticed. I literally will start every game, and I'll be like, um, okay, this is my job in the game. And then everyone else will be like, okay, yeah, this is my job, this is my job. And then when we know what each person's role is in the game, we won't buy items that will overlap the, that purpose. So, like, if I know that my offlaner is going to be the initiator of this game, I'm not going to buy initiating items. I'm going to buy secondary initiator items, you know, as, like, a mid. Like, maybe if I'm pause one, I'm going to buy, like, items that are going to basically be, like, cleanup items. Like, items that can basically show up at, like, late no team fight and just kill everyone. Right. Stuff like that. To uh, yeah, to make a long story short, I think the there's some itemization problems here. I think Meph, you know, when you when you're talking about like the role in this game, I think Meph kind of missed the mark on what exactly he was supposed to do here. If Meph was uh, if Meph was being the guy who was being the uh, if Meph was being the team fight saboteur, right? If he was saving Arrow for Morana rather than trying to initiate on it, because they got enough initiate already, I promise you. If, yeah, if, if for her. right. Yeah, save it for a snapfire. Saving it for a snapfire in those early game fights where the snapfire ult was demolishing people. If he was, you know, picking up the four staff, using it to break the razor link. If he was picking up a lotus orb, especially, like he could definitely do both here, right? Then I, I think he has a much better game than trying to do the like baby core, pause four core build that he's kind of got going here. I don't know. Either way, we'll see. Uh, and oh, by the way, if he, if the stats didn't tell you and the way the game turned out didn't tell you, yeah, this this pause one DP ain't gonna work no more. <laughs> it did not do anything for them here. Uh, like it was just like super cursed because I was like, you know, Trashbo plays DP pretty well. It's like it's one of his like signature heroes. Just just let him have the hero. He first picks it. I'm pretty sure like whatever matchup you give him, he doesn't give a shit. It's fucking DP. He'll just survive and he'll just have an impact. Like you really should just be angling for like a pause one pick there at the end. I think that's like the, like Ember there kind of threw the draft, I think. I mean, it's because they 2 0 a team with pause one DP last, not last Yeah, but week, that was when it was broken. Yeah, like, they, please, please read the patch notes. Anyway, we'll see you next game.